Perth's bus network is bracing for major delays tomorrow when hundreds of drivers walk off the job. The strike will affect thousands of passengers, including school students, just as the morning peak hits. Parts of Perth's bus network not in service. Hundreds of bus drivers set to walk off the job for four hours between 6am and 10am tomorrow morning. Dozens of bus routes, including school services, will either be disrupted or won't operate at all, affecting thousands of commuters. What option do the drivers have? You know, they, they don't want to disrupt the uh, passenger service. They don't want to, they want to take kids to school, they want to take people to work. But they've got to that point where they've said, you know, this is our last stand. Commuters heading to school or work are being urged to find alternative transport. Whether that is that you've got to arrange with, with work to stay home to look after the kids or you're going to be late to work because you normally rely on public transport. The strike called by drivers who've been locked in a bitter pay dispute with their employer Transdev for more than eight months. They've just said no to everything. I mean, that's where the frustration comes from. Our bus drivers are acknowledged already as the highest paid in Australia. Transdev operates about 40% of Perth's bus network and it's expected up to 500 drivers will refuse to get behind the wheel tomorrow morning. The PTA says dozens of students may not be able to get to school but it won't know which routes will be affected until drivers do or don't turn up to work. In practical terms that probably means buses won't be back on, uh, on the roads and running as normal before about lunchtime. You can see a full list of schools affected by tomorrow's strike on the PTA's website. And Nathan Brooks joins us. Nathan, the chaos on our bus network could get worse before it gets better. Tracy, there's the very real possibility that this industrial action will continue after 10am tomorrow. It means some services into the afternoon may be disrupted and that could continue through until Friday as well. Now, despite months of negotiation, this pay dispute is now at a standstill. It means the union and Transdev will have to take their arguments to the Fair Work Commission to get a resolution, but it's not known how long that process will take and we could see more strikes before a deal is done. Trace.